Middle East expert says what we're seeing unfold in Iran right now isn't just a government crackdown, but an actual coup by the country's elite revolutionary guard. Do you think it's pretty clear that the government has the ability to really consolidate power and crack down on this? Farid, I'm quite sure there's been a military coup d'etat by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps in, in Tehran. They've taken over. Uh, in the fact that the besiege came out so quickly, they could have only done that on orders from the IRGC. Um, uh, the fact that Ahmadinejad's a I former IRGC officer, he's the backing of senior officers. I think what we've seen is a military coup against the old clerical establishment. Let's bring in Fareed Zakari to join us now. Uh, Fareed, uh, what do you think? Uh, you're an authority on this subject. I think that Bob Bear uh, is uh, is onto something. I'm not sure I would use the word coup, uh, you know, as strongly, but there is no question that what we're what witnessing in Iran is the displacement of the old uh, clerical establishment and the rise to power of some new clerics, but mostly uh, a group of people who have much closer ties to the military, to the intelligence organizations, to the, you know, to the uh, police and to the besiege. So what you're seeing is a kind of consolidation of a pure military dictatorship, losing uh, the trappings of the Islam and the ideology uh, as much. And by the way, this is very much part of uh, Ahmadinejad's strategy when he is now attacking America. It is an attempt to consolidate power and move beyond the, the debate about what's going on in Iran. Can millions of Iranians, especially young people, women, intellectuals, university students, can they, though, be brutally suppressed given what's happened over these past few weeks? Unfortunately, the answer is probably yes. You know, usually people, the people with guns and money win in the short run. And the Iranian regime has lots of guns and lots of money because of the oil. Uh, there is, however, a huge ideological crack in the regime. And that ideological crack is very, very important, and it may be fatal in the long run. But what the regime now has to try to do is to use brute force to win in the short run and to try to drum up a new ideology. That's why Ahmadinejad is trying to pick on America. That's why he's accusing us of interfering. And by the way, that is precisely why President Obama has been very wise in trying to be a little bit cautious, stay out of this fight, not, into, not, not get entangled into it. It powerfully helps Ahmadinejad to be able to turn this into a U U.S. versus Iran tit for tat. Look at what's happening right now. We've stopped talking about Musavi, and we're talking about Obama and Ahmadinejad. That's exactly what Ahmadinejad wants. One of your reporters, Farid, from Newsweek magazine uh, has been picked up, uh, arrested, uh, or I don't know if, if anyone's been in touch with him, but give us the latest. Tell us what's going on, because I know you're working as hard as you can, and your colleagues are, to get him out. Uh, it's a very troubling situation. Wolf is one of 23, at least, uh, journalists who've been picked up, uh, uh, arrested without any charges. And what is most troubling about it is this is a guy who has been accredited in Iran, in the Islamic Republic of Iran, under their laws for 10 years. He's a very distinguished journalist. He's been a Newsweek correspondent for 10 years. Very distinguished documentary filmmaker. He's won many, many awards in Iran and outside. And there seems to be no procedure that was followed. So what we're hoping and what we have appealed for is that the, uh, the, the uh, regime, the Islamic Republic of Iran, follow its own, its own laws. Its own, it has procedures in this matter. Uh, we think he is entirely innocent and we believe and we, ha we have some hope um, that perhaps he will be released when they see that, that you know, he is in fact very balanced, very nuanced, very professional. Ha have you been able to hear from him? Have you been in touch with him at all? You know, some of this is somewhat sensitive, uh, Wolf, and I don't want to say anything that will get him into trouble. We're trying very hard to get him out. Well, good luck, uh, Fareed. Uh, we wish him and all of our journalistic colleagues, everyone in Iran for that matter, we wish them only, only the best.